Ryan Garcia is a a C level fighter. He got a big name, but you know I'm an A plus fighter. I'm gonna go in there and beat him down. I'm gonna I'm gonna show him that it's just I'm just on a totally different level. I'm just way better. It's a mismatch. You know I'm levels above this guy. Is he that next level, and I don't think that Ryan has got much better since the amateurs. Of course he got bigger. Of course he got stronger. The world is gonna see me beat down Ryan Garcia, get him out of boxing. I have a book for Ryan Garcia today. Oh, what? Boxing is tripping, tripping today. So in addition to the Manny Pacquiao news, it looks like Devin Haney's dad, Bill Haney, is retiring from coaching. So if he's not going to be training Devin Haney no more, who's going to be training Devin Haney? Money? The lights had dimmed in Las Vegas. The roar of the crowd a fading memory. Devin Haney, the undefeated WBC lightweight champion, slumped against the ropes, his face a mask of confusion. Moments earlier, the fight had been abruptly halted after a vicious left hook from challenger Ryan Garcia sent him reeling. What was supposed to be a night of glory now cast a long shadow of uncertainty. As the medical team examined his son, a wave of panic washed over Bill Haney, Devin's father and trainer. It was like watching everything we'd worked for, all those years of sacrifice just vanish, Bill confided later, his voice heavy with emotion. The fight itself had been a war of attrition. Haney, known for his slick footwork and counterpunching, had struggled to find his rhythm against Garcia's relentless pressure. But then came the left hook, a perfectly timed blow that landed flush on Haney's temple. The champion crumpled, his legs buckling beneath him. In the agonizing minutes that followed, the elder Haney's mind raced. The initial concern was immediate. Had Devin suffered a serious injury? But as the gravity of the situation settled in, a more chilling fear took hold. The doctors confirmed Devin had a concussion, a potentially career-threatening development. Concussions are no joke in boxing, Bill sighed, shaking his head. One bad one can change everything. You just never know if a fighter can fully recover, if they'll be the same again. The fear was palpable. Devin had turned pro at just 17, a prodigy groomed for greatness. Years of grueling training, the dedication, the missed birthdays and holidays all led to this moment. And now, it all hung in the balance. We built a dream together, Bill said, his voice thick with emotion. He spoke of the countless who were spent in the gym, the strategy sessions, the unwavering support he provided his son. Devin wasn't just a boxer, he was Bill's legacy, a testament to their shared passion. The thought of that dream being snatched away by a single punch was unbearable. The days that followed were a blur of tests, specialist consultations, and agonizing wait times. Social media was abuzz with speculation, some even celebrating Garcia's victory with a tinge of cruelty. For Bill Haney, the outside noise was a distant echo. His focus was solely on Devin's health, his well-being. The hardest part wasn't the pain, Devin revealed later, his voice still groggy. It was the uncertainty, not knowing if I'd ever be able to step back in the ring. The mental toll of the concussion was significant. Devin, a fighter accustomed to being in control, now felt powerless, his future hanging by a thread. Bill, ever the pillar of strength, stood by his son's side. He pushed Devin to prioritize recovery, to listen to his body. There would be time for boxing later, if at all. Your health comes first, Bill asserted, his voice firm but laced with concern. We'll get through this together, one step at a time. Weeks turned into months, and slowly, Devon began to show signs of improvement. The headaches subsided, dizziness lessened. He started light training, focusing on cardio and non-contact drills. But the shadow of the concussion loomed large. The doctors were courteous, advising a lengthy period of rest and observation. It's a waiting game now, Bill admitted, a hint of frustration creeping into his voice. We want Devon back in the ring, but we can't rush it. His health is paramount. The financial implications were a secondary concern. Devin was in his prime earning years, and the prospect of an extended hiatus was a bitter pill to swallow. Yet, amidst the uncertainty, there was a flicker of hope. Devin's determination remained unyielding. He spoke of his desire to return, to prove himself once again. The fire in his eyes, the fighter's spirit, was far from extinguished. Bill watched his son with a mixture of pride and trepidation. He knew the risks involved, the potential for further injury, but he also knew Devin's character, his unwavering dedication to the sport. He's a fighter, Bill declared, a hint of admiration in his voice. It's in his blood. The road ahead for Devin Haney remains uncertain. The concussion may have been a temporary setback, or it could mark a turning point in his career. This is embarrassing. Devin Haney celebrated last night like he won, even though he did not. 
They were celebrating because Devin Haney got to keep his belt because Ryan missed weight. And I love him to death. I'll continue to go and bat for him. I'll continue to stay outside. You know what I mean? We didn't just start this journey uh, uh, when we started boxing, you know. What's on feeling? Oh, he's feeling good. I mean, it was a great fight. I mean, like I said, Ryan's a, a, a good fighter. You know what I'm saying? And we knew that he was playing all along. That it was it was all a publicity stunt. The way, the craziness, good fighter. We want to rematch. Does Devin move up Do you next? think the way helped him, Phil? We want to rematch. That's what we're doing. News of Devin Haney's condition has sent shockwaves through the combat sports world. Joe Rogan, the renowned UFC commentator and podcast host, addressed the situation on his show. It's a damn shame, Rogan said, his voice laced with concern. Devin's a young, talented fighter with a lot of potential. These multiple concussions are a serious issue. I understand the fighter's mentality, wanting to get back in there, but his health comes first. The sterile walls of the Las Vegas hospital room seemed to press in on Bill Haney. The rhythmic beeping of the heart monitor was a constant reminder of the fragile state of his son, Devin. It had been days since the brutal lightweight title fight against Ryan Garcia, and Devin still hadn't regained full consciousness. The doctors painted a grim picture. Multiple concussions, a lengthy recovery process, and the chilling possibility that Devin's boxing career might be over. It's like someone ripped the rug out from under us, Bill confided later, his voice hoarse with exhaustion and worry. The image was apt. For years, Bill had been Devin's rock, his trainer, his confidant. Together, they had navigated the treacherous waters of the boxing world, their sights set firmly on the championship. Now, the future they had meticulously planned seemed to be disintegrating before their very eyes. The fight itself had been a brutal affair. Devin, known for his elusive footwork and sharp counterpunching, had been caught in a firefight with the aggressive Garcia. Blow after blow rained down, each one chipping away at Devin's defenses. Then came the fight ending sequence, a flurry of punches culminating in a sickening thud as Devin's heed snapped back. The referee's intervention was swift, but the damage was done. I knew something was wrong the moment I saw him go down. Bill said, his eyes welling up. The years spent watching Devin fight had honed his instincts. He could spot trouble a mile away. This time, the trouble was undeniable. The initial diagnosis was a concussion. But, as the hours turned into days and Devin remained unresponsive, a more unsettling truth emerged. There were multiple concussions, a worrying sign of the cumulative punishment Devin's young body had endured throughout his career. Concussions are no joke, Bill sighed, shaking his head. One bad one can change everything, but multiple ones. It's a whole different ball game. The fear gnawed at him. Boxing, the sport that had brought them so much glory, now threatened to take everything away. The days that followed were a blur of tests, specialist consultations, and agonizing wait times. Social media was a constant source of torment, filled with armchair doctors and cruel pronouncements about Devin's career being over. Bill, however, shut out the noise. His focus was singular, his son's health. Slowly, Devin began to show signs of improvement. He regained consciousness, though his speech was slurred and his memory hazy. The doctors spoke of a long road to recovery, one filled with physical and cognitive rehabilitation. It's not just about the physical stuff, Devin mumbled weakly, flicker of worry in his eyes. What if I can't think clearly in the ring anymore? What if I'm not the same fighter? The once confident champion grappled with self-doubt. The fear of losing his identity as a boxer, a heavy burden to bear. Bill squeezed his son's hand, his voice firm but filled with empathy. We'll get through this together, champ, he said. Right now, healing is all that matters. Boxing can wait. Bill wasn't naive. He knew the risks involved in letting Devon return to the ring. Another concussion, the doctors warned, could have catastrophic consequences. But seeing the fighting spirit slowly flicker back to life in his son's eyes, Bill understood. Devin wasn't just a boxer. Boxing was woven into the fabric of his being. He's a fighter, Bill declared, a hint of pride battling with the ever-present worry. It's in his blood, but we'll make a decision together when the time is right. The future remains uncertain for Devin Haney. A hospital room, once a place of despair, now held a glimmer of hope. The road to recovery will be long and arduous, but with his father by his side, Devin is determined to fight his way back. Whether that fight takes place in the ring or outside of it, one thing is certain, the Haney name will endure. I have a book for Ryan Garcia today. Psychology for Dummies. Well, that's what Cambosos did. You saw what happened to him. <laughs> well, 
So all this game that he thought that he was playing on the people, I don't know if he played, thought he was playing on you guys, but it did work with me and Devin. Those uh, three, three, three pounds overweight, you made a huge difference. You could just tell. I mean, he was just a bigger guy. Of course, yeah, much bigger guy. And, um, you know, you, might, you have to make a decision. You know, Bill and Devin, if you want to continue with the fight, they chose to continue with the fight. And, um, you know, it was, a big, it was a big penalty to take in the ring, but take nothing away from Ryan. Looked very strong in there tonight. And it was a wild lead up to the fight. Yeah. Is there any sense of relief having such a decisive win? Well, yeah. I mean, it's like you beat the dream. Everybody call him the dream. Pound for pound. I'm the top two or top three. Fuck you. And the jubilant celebrations following Ryan Garcia's victory over Devin Haney were short-lived. News of Haney's hospitalization due to multiple concussions cast a dark cloud over Garcia's win. The elation of achieving his long-held dream was overshadowed by genuine concern for his fallen opponent. It's not the win I envisioned, Garcia confessed in a somber post-fight interview. The imagery of a usually flamboyant Garcia speaking with a subdued tone underscored the gravity of the situation. While acknowledging his own accomplishment, Garcia's focus quickly shifted to Haney's well-being. This is bigger than boxing, he declared his voice firm but laced with worry. Devin's health is paramount. Those concussions are no joke, and I wouldn't want anyone to go through that, not even him. The animosity that had fueled the pre-fight build-up seemed to evaporate, replaced by a sense of sportsmanship and empathy. The rivalry between Garcia and Haney had been nothing short of electric. Both undefeated young fighters, they embodied the future of the lightweight division. The trash talk, the heated exchanges, all led to a highly anticipated showdown, but the fight itself had taken a toll far greater than anyone could have anticipated. I trained hard for that fight, Garcia continued. I wanted to prove myself, but never at the cost of someone's health. Seeing Devin like that, Garcia's words resonated with a genuine concern that surprised many who had witnessed his flamboyant persona. The news media, ever hungry for a story, tried to spin a narrative of feigned concern. Some questioned the sincerity of Garcia's words, suggesting they were a calculated ploy to appear compassionate. However, Garcia's actions spoke louder than any headline. I want a rematch, he declared, surprising everyone. A collective gasp rippled through the boxing community. A rematch, traditionally a way for the loser to avenge their defeat, was now being proposed by the victor. But Garcia's reasoning was clear. I want him healthy first and foremost, Garcia emphasized. But once he's cleared, I want to run it back. This time, though, with a clear conscience knowing he's 100%, the statement was a calculated risk. A rematch with a healthy Haney would solidify Garcia's win and further propel him into superstardom. Yet, the underlying out. message yeah. was one we, of We're getting this guy out of boxing. He's a fucking clown. Him, him and his family. Are you going to show up on April 20th? No comment? Would Ryan, are you going to be there? Are you, <laughs> you going to go on your phone? <laughs> Okay. You quit the world, can you take a knee and quit like a bitch? Motherfucker needs some, 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 some to talk. He needs some alcohol to talk. This fuck motherfucker sound dumb as yeah, I'm on a different level. I'm that elite. I'm that next. Ryan is good, but I'm that next. It had highlighted his Psychology for dummies. Boxing is a tough sport. What I'm sending Devin to do to him shouldn't be on TV. Devin is coming to do bodily harm to him. I want the world to give me my just do when I smash this motherfucker. And Devin needs our support now, not another fight. Come to the center aisle, we're going to the center of the ring. We'll see what you do. Amidst the brutality of the fight game, there could be camaraderie and compassion. The future of the lightweight division remained uncertain. But one thing was clear. The rivalry between Garcia and Haney had transcended the boxing ring. It had become a story not just about knockouts and championships, but about respect, sportsmanship, and the importance of health above all else.